What's going on guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do this, effects made popular on Instagram by Blotter Media. Now I'm going to be using DaVinci Resolve because I see a lot of people using After Effects, but After Effects you have to pay for, DaVinci Resolve is free, so you can literally follow along for free in real time. Let's get started. So essentially once you drag your footage into the timeline, you right click it, click create new timeline with selected clips, and then I'll take it to this page here. From here, what we're going to need to do next is navigate to the Fusion page at the bottom. Once you click onto here, the next steps are fairly simple. Click Control Space or Command Space if you're on Mac, type in Background and hit Enter. From here, what you're going to need to do, click this Background node over here, navigate to the right hand side where it says Alpha and put this all the way down to zero. The next step you need to do, find this Paint tool which is on this panel here. And from here, all you need to do, select your color for your brush. For me, I'm going to pick yellowish. I can go to the brush controls to affect the size. And then all you need to do is start drawing and painting around. Now, essentially, you're going to need to go frame by frame. So you're going to hit right on your arrow key to go to the next frame. It's going to reset and you're going to have to continue drawing. Now, this can be pretty time consuming and a little bit tedious. But once you get used to it, it's super simple and the effect is super sensational. Like actually, I'm actually really impressed. This DaVinci Resolve is absolutely free, so you can do this yourself. You can make sensational videos and put it on Instagram. So essentially, you can keep drawing rounds and then hit the arrow key for the next. Keep drawing, keep adding things if you want. Even if you want, you can change the color of your brush tool. So I can change the red, I can keep going. You can even go back a frame and add on to um, what you've already done. You might notice that his brush strokes have glow effects on them. So what you need to do is click onto this paint node here. Again, click control space or command space bar, type in glow, bam, and you can have a glow effect. To affect the controls of the glow, on the right hand side here, you see glow size, and you can see the glow controls over here. So again, guys, it's literally this simple. You can create this effect, you can keep on going. You can literally spend the whole day um, making a really nice animation if you wanted to. But yeah, guys, it's the simple way, fastest way, in fact. It's way faster than After Effects, if you ask me, to create the Blotter Media glow effect with the scribbly lines. I think it's so incredible, so sensational. And once you've done all of that, all you need to do is go to the Deliver page and click the YouTube preset, and then start the render, and we're bam. Hey guys, if you like this video, share, subscribe, comment, like. If you want me to make more tutorials like this, let me know in the comments below. If you found this video useful, share it onto your friends, and remember, you can do this for absolute free. I put the link to the software in the description below. Peace.